Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode, we've got the Saluki Dunkel Dog from Big Muddy. Right. So recently, my wife and I took a trip a little north of here, and uh, we passed by the Southern Illinois University Saluki Stadium. Yeah. And uh, several of the little shops around there sold a lot of these beers from Big Muddy. Big Muddy. Big Muddy. So that's Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro, Illinois. Murfreesboro, Illinois. And this was one of the flavors. I'm a Dunkel fan, so I couldn't resist picking up some and... Sharing it with my friend, the Beer Venture here. So let's, let's tear started. into this one here. Okay, from, we uh, have no preconceived notions. Now, although I have had a couple Big Muddy beers, the only thing I know about this is that it's a Dunkel. Um, that's all I know. Uh, it's by Shout four. out to the Southern Illinois Salukis. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Dunkels do, man. Dunkels oh, yeah. are awesome. Oh, yeah. Show me that caramel, all that caramel color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it the way it looks in the glass. Don't go have a slightly it. tan head. All right, I tried to pour a nice big rolling head. Now, I actually poured more for him because he's even more of a fan of these than I am. I, li I like Dunkles. I like robust beers. I like the the, the full flavors. Yeah. I don't like IPAs as much, but I do want to taste a full flavor yeah, profile. I don't understand so okay the smell it's nice it's kind of uh, very clean for a dunkel very clean. oh yeah it's a little biscuity smelling which i like that in my dunkel right okay but like it doesn't have that a lot of them have a weird oak flavor or they a do. weird wood or a nut this doesn't have any of that it smells bready let's see what we got mm. You know, that's not so, that's very not, uh, not a very strong dunkel. That's um, a very mild dunkel, but boy, it's uh, tingly on your tongue, right? It is. It dances around without doing the, uh, mm. this would be a good way to ease into European beers right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know it's not from Europe, but the whole dunkel style is a European style usually. And this one has that flavor profile, but it doesn't go overboard with any of it. I would say that the smell is almost misleading. It smells more, much more bready, and this is a little more crisp. Yeah, it is a really um, crisp for, for a dunkel. It's not I guess heavy. I, I said it was clean right before I yeah, got the it's, dunkel. Yeah, it's not it's, heavy. This it's is a crazy not one. not overpowering. It has no real discernible hop note. It has that caramel, like not of, not some, there's a flavor there, but there's also a feel to it. It's it's not syrupy. Wait, it's caramelized, not caramel. There you go. Yeah. Um, That's a good way to put it. it it's uh, kind of, you know, it's not toasted, but it's it's not brown toasted. It's blonde toasted if you're a cook. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty pleased Lanched. with this. This... Uh, <laughs> I could really see this being a very nice food beer. Oh, this would go great with a meal. Uh, it would be nice to kind of cleanse the palate. It has a decent enough flavor that it would stand up to most things. I mean, there's some way, way fatty or super spicy. That but, like, I mean, it wouldn't overpower fish? No. Or, or, mm -hmm. or yeah, it wouldn't overpower a seafood dish. Um, I'm, I'm really thinking... Uh, I'm digging this. Baked goods and even uh, do broiled you meat. Have a favorite dunkel? Ooh. If you do, please tell us what it is down there in Let's the comments. Talk in the comments. And uh, while you're down there, go ahead and smash that subscribe button because this guy will bring this to you three times a week. Yeah. Now you'll also notice down there. Now I have a merch site. I'm adding some new, just different things on Redbubble. Uh, if you dig them, that'd be great. Go ahead and buy those. I get some of that money so I can buy more beer so I can make more videos. That's right. For you. It's for you guys. It's beer stuff for beer people by beer people. Um, and hit the subscribe because we're, I'm striving for a thousand. I think that's a good spot to go for. Let's do it. Um, Let's do it. You know. Like the video. Just, just like it. I really like this beer. 
But let's go ahead and get into that rating. Um, did you dig it? Yeah, I, I did. I like this beer. Uh, would you have another? Sure. Yeah, um, I would. I would as well. Uh, is it pick six worthy? Absolutely. Yeah, um, I didn't ever find it in that situation, but you got yeah. a whole six pack. And yeah, I got a whole six pack because that's the way I found it, and I like Dunkles, so I don't mind buying a six pack of them. Yeah, I would. Um, but I mean, even if you're not going down that path yet, this is a light style it's a mild Dunkle. Dun it's, it's a, a mild very Dunkle. mild Dunkle. So even if you're not used to that style yet. This one's easy to take. By the way, in case Dunkle's anybody's Dunkle. wondering, Dunkel is dark wheat. Right. Um, uh, and it's, this is a... Usually the flavor profile is a little bit fuller. It's more robust. Yes. This one this one isn't near that strong. This is... It is this robust, is almost, but it's not strong. You know what? I hate to say it. This one's almost Americanized. <laughs> it's almost American. I, Damn it! Why didn't I think I of that earlier? Say, I would. I would definitely say it is on the easier side. Yeah, it, it's still good. Uh, it's still good. I got the. I got the perfect from a Dunkel thing. fan. It's I got the good. perfect thing. Approachable. It's approachable. Yes, this approachable is approachable Dunkel. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. So, so yeah. let's go do it. One to ten. That's my rating scale. One pint to ten pints. I'm giving it a seven. I am completely there with you. Um. It's not too heavy. This is like the second or third thing I've had from Big Muddy. Um, they do some you. they do some cool things. It's a couple states north of here. Happened to be in the area, so I grabbed a few things that we didn't have here. Um, I'm not disappointed. Mm. I like it. Oh, solid seven all day. Um, and at 5'4", it's boring on a day drinking beer. Mm -hmm. Um. I think it's super acceptable. I hope it's available year round. If it is, I'll try to put a, I'll try to put that down there in the comments. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, there you have it, folks. He went on an adventure, brought me back beer. That's right. So until your next beer adventure, cheers, cheers. <laughs>